Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerome Fit, and uh, a lot of you've been watching my chest press video, how to improve your bench press. Uh, I just talked about it a little bit, but I'm gonna actually take one of my clients and show show you guys how to actually uh, improve. Hey, come on around here real quick. Yep. All right. My boy Rob, say what's up. What's up? He wants to be at a bench 225, and so that's what we're gonna. That's our goal. You know, he wants to be able to hit 225. So we're gonna use the methods that I put in other videos and let's see if the shit really fucking works, man. Let's put somebody to the test and let's really get some people some gains, all right? All right, this is the part I showed y'all, you know, starting off with the low, the low press, all right? So we're gonna start off with a lighter weight. Go. Boom. Exhale harder, coming up, exhale. There you go. Drop those feet. Mm -hmm. Same principles, you still start 10, 12 reps, get a good warm up. What I did, what we did show earlier is he did pull ups. Well, this one, I'm gonna put the shit in the video. If you follow me, and you know, you see somebody I already did dips and pull ups and all that shit to warm up. That goes without saying. So I don't even, you, you watch, unless you, y'all must be some new people. Good. Wait. Don't start yet. All right, next set. Up the weight, obviously. Let's go. Float off of that thing, you gotta go. Just... Go! There you go. <sighs> Lower down. All right. Now, as the load increases, what we're trying to do is, we're trying to get him up to the max load that he's trying to lift eventually. So basically, what I'm trying to do is get him up to 225. Your job, that's why I said in the video previously, man, you have a spotter who knows what the fuck he's doing. Your job as a spotter is not just to yank the weight or whatever. Like after you saw it, I was using my fingers. You're trying to give him just enough assistance to get the weight moving to where he can boom, explode out. So we're timing it. One, two, three. Like each lift you try to help, every time you try to give him just enough. Like you don't grip it. Like you're not trying to grip the bar, lift it away for him, that's too much. He's trying to give him just enough assistance to get the bar moving, just enough, and then he fights it on the way back down. Yeah. All right, remember, as the loads increase, your job as a spotter is giving him just enough help to get the weight moving, man. That's why it helps to have a fucking a, a, a educated spotter, somebody knows what they're doing. If you don't have that, Smith Machine is the best option for you, all right? On three, your count. One, two, three. Lock out, go. Explode, boom. Come on, finish it. Don't lift it slow. One, two, three. Go. Good. Lower slowly. Good. One, two, three. Come on. 
Come on. Come on, lock it out. Let's go. Lock it out. Come on, don't give up. Let's go. Finish. Go slow. Right. Two, three. Lock it out. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. That's enough. Oh, shit. All right, so we have worked up to our target goal weight. And like I said, man, your job as a spotter is not to lift this weight for them. You give them just enough assistance to get the weight moving and they have to finish the lift on their own. Let's go. Three. Come on, lock it out. Lock that out, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. One more, one more, one more. Come on. Two, three, and then when we said lock it up, come on, drive, drive, look, look, look. drive, come on, rack it, no, rack it, rack it, rack it, yeah, mm, see, now it worked into our max load, you have to do that for weeks, your body has to, get, has to feel 225, 315, or whatever you're trying to get up to, man, let your body feel it. Yes. <laughs> All yes. right, now it's time for the heavy negative portion of it. Now, this is the cool shit. Remember, again, you gotta have a spotter who knows what the fuck they're doing, or you better use a slip machine bo and set them bars up. But, remember, you can always lift more in a negative fashion than you can in a positive. So you can always lift more on the lower and the raising. So you can work with heavier loads. But again, have a, a good spotter who knows what's up. And again, now, the difference between this one, this lift is, they control the weight on the way down. Like I said in the previous video, if you didn't watch it, you better go back and watch it. They control the weight on, on the way down. Now, on the way up, y'all both together lift the weight up, but the spotter helps a lot. Like, your job is to help, because he wants, he's the work, he has to work on the negative end of it. So your job as a spotter is to really help him get the weight up. So make sure your setup as a spotter, you know, is to help him in the best way possible. And still, even if some shit, like, the way I like this is, even if some shit goes wrong, we got these safety bars here. If I fuck up and this weight just falls down, we got, he gonna die. He'll think he died. He'll be like, oh my God, I'm about to die, but he won't really die. So we got these safety bars up, all right? Let's do it. That was pretty fucking funny, man. Oh yeah. The only thing that sucks about this, man, reason I don't do this is because I don't want nobody's nuts in my face, so, you know. <laughs> Already, I don't know that's about face, but hey. <laughs> um, count. One, two, three. Control it. Yeah, as slow as you can. One, two, three. Up. Yep, there you go. Help him lift it. Ready? One, two, three. One more. Control it more. Fight more. Fight more. Fight more. Fight more. Last one, three. three. Ah! Woo, how'd that feel? You good. All right, now, go up. Because like I said, working negative, you can always lift more in a negative fashion than you can in a positive. So you can work with heavier loads. But again, have a spotter. Who knows what they're doing? Uh, if you don't have a friend with you, ask the person at the at damn gym that works there. That's their job to help you. Just because you don't sign up for training, don't mean they can't spot you. And tell him Jerron face there, so. And I say why. All right, we're gonna, normally, we would go up, but after some conversation we had, there was a, a little hitch in the movement. Uh, we did, I didn't like, we, didn't, we both agreed, we were kind of like, I didn't like that. And so, even though we're trying to get stronger, the thing is, you don't want any bad muscle recruitment patterns, you know, because that will rear their head later on and you can get hurt or injured like that. So we're gonna get those little hitches and little jerks out of there. Uh, so we're gonna go, instead of doing four, we're gonna take it back, or not take it back on the uh, weight, but take it back on the reps. We're gonna try to go two smooth, clean reps to see if we can eliminate what just happened. All right, let's see if we can do that. Your count on three. One, two, three. Got it? Yep. Fight more, fight more, fight more. Go, 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 go. Good. Much better. 
Yep. So we'll go two and a half. Hit me, hit me. <laughs> Here we go. Well, yeah. Remember what I said, man? You can always live more in a negative fashion than a positive. This is a spiral. Here we go. Number three. One, resist. Two, three. Come out, come on out, come on out. There you go. One more. Fight, fight more. Relax. Come on. Resist, resist it. One, two, three. That's why you need you a spider who's strong too. Damn, pull this up off you. All right. So, as you can see, we stayed with the two and a quarter. Can y'all see that? Let me, let me move it. I'll do it again. All right, as y'all can see, we stayed with the two and a quarter because that set went real, real smooth, real, real well. And I feel like the weight was heavy enough. Uh, so we're gonna stick with this, man. We're gonna, we don't, we don't always have to go up, man. That was good. It's a good set. So we're gonna keep it going. Same thing as before. And especially when you're lifting this heavy, like it's not lifting the same way because there's no, you're still heavy as fuck. Central nervous system has got fucking gas. So he's tired. Oh yeah. Yes. On three, your count. Ready? One, two, three. Bring it out. Fight it, fight, 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 fight. Two, three. Ah, strong, man. Fight, come on now, come on. That's good. I don't need to do that since that was the last one. Good shit. All right, then after we do that, then we go into our more, our actual training, man. And the reason we hit that shit first is because that's all power and strength. And you're only strong, you're strongest when you first come into the gym. So it would make much sense to do that shit uh, toward the end of the workout. I see a lot of people doing that toward the end of their workout. You know, it doesn't make sense. Do that first, then go lift. Like I said, and definitely hit that fucking back, man. Get that back. Don't play no games. Get that back. Yeah. T-ball rolls for that mass. It's drawn fit. Fuck with your boy. www.jeronfit.com for this coaching, man. I do all kinds of shit. I'm going to train the next world champ. There you go. Smooth. Like so. Get that butt down. Butt down back. Yeah.